most wicked witch ever is Evil Edna. Once when Arthur the Caterpillar was trotting happily through Doily Wood, he came across Edna trying to get to sleep. 5,442. 5,443. 5,444. 5,444. Hello, Edna, said Arthur. You stupid frog, you! shrieked Edna. You've made me lose count! I'm not a frog, I'm a caterpillar. Do you want to bet on that? <laughs> now I've got to start all over again. One, two. Now that was typical of Edna's wickedness. So everyone was very surprised when a few days later. Good morning, dear little friends. Mavis, Arthur, the Mook. Oh, and there's that nice pussycat called Car Wash. Good morning, everyone. What a simply scrumptious day. Did you hear what I heard? Flipped her lid, that's what she's done. What a simply scrumptious day. Nutty as a fruitcake. Oh, Arthur, perhaps she's reformed. Become really nice. Nice? She called Car Wash a pussycat. You're not a pussycat, are you, mate? It's not a term we felines find terribly attractive. Ah, she's flipped. She ought to see a doctor. A witch doctor. Or maybe a good TV repairman. Well, evil Edna's behaviour was yet to become more and more odd. He loves me. He loves me not. I think I know what's happened to Edna. It's happened to me lots of times. And oh, it's lovely. Edna has fallen in love. If it were true, there was one big question. Who's the lucky fella, Edna? Oh, you saucy little caterpillar, you. It's a secret. Now run along, both of you, for I have a very important appointment. They went, but not very far. Hey, let's stop here and watch, Maeve. Oh, Arthur, that would be spying. <laughs> oh, all right. Well, they had to wait about five minutes, and then... Here is the news. The situation in Upper Mulvania has improved immensely over the last... Hey, look at all them hearts. I've got it. Old Edna has fallen for a newsreader. It's a bit sad, really. Oh, it's sweet. Well, it's not real, is he, Maeve? Of of course he is real, Arthur. Yeah, I know he exists in real life, like, but our Edna's fallen for an image, an image on a television screen. Yes, Arthur, that is sad, very sad. Arthur, how about if he became real? How about if I and my little wand... No, Maeve. Too late. I've made up my mind. Here goes. <laughs> Here, yeah, Mavis, I don't see his legs. No one ever does see the legs of a newsreader, Arthur. Look what you've done to my face, you interfering fat fairy person. Take that! And that! Things seem to be back to normal, eh, Mavis? 